Hola, hola amigos, this is Pablo Ceballos. Welcome to Studio Studios here in Madrid. We're going to start a series of videos. We're going to share with you guys our production tips, our studio little dirty secrets to hopefully help you in your music production. We're going to start today with maybe the most important element of electronic music that is the kick. And how many times happened to you guys that you are working in a production and you have like a nice kick, you like the tone of the kick, but it's not like big enough. And you try with EQ, with some compression in the channel and doesn't get heavy, doesn't get like that weight that you need. So this is a little trick to make your kick bigger than life. Let's go to see it. So we are going to use today Ableton Live. You can use any DAW because this is like a set as you can do in any, any kind of DAW. We have the channel one here called Kick. We have like the typical 909 Kick. And the technique we're going to use to make this kick big is called parallel compression. It's called parallel because we're going to use the plugin into an auxiliary channel. We're not going to put the plugin in the channel, we're going to put it in an auxiliary channel. So first of all, you guys have to create an auxiliary channel and then put the compressor in this auxiliary channel. Today, we're using the Wave CLA 76. This is a recreation of the maybe the most used compressor hardware in history, the classic Ure 1176 that then was called Universal Audio 1176. And I use different kind of regression of that plugin, but this from Waves is the one that gives you more weight to, to the kick drum. So the setup is very aggressive. That's what we want. So I started with put the input all the way close, wide to the right. The output around 20, and then the attack around four, and the release around, let's say, 7.5. And the most important setup of this technique is to put the radio to all. You have two, eight, 12, four, 12, and all. This all was like a happy accident back in the day in the hardware when, they, when you push all the, all the four volumes together, you have like a crazy compression, almost distortion. So that's what we want. That is what, what is going to give that weight to the plugin. So that's the setup. And uh, now we need to do the send to the auxiliary. So this is a very extreme setting. So be careful, we should start around 45 and then don't go farther than 35 because it's very easy to overuse. It's a very addictive uh, plugin. So you're going to listen now the difference without it and with it. This is without it. And this is with it. If you listen to it in a good sound system, you're going to see like the difference. It sounds like more run, then more 3D, more weight in the low frequencies, the punch that you need in electronic music. And then after the compressor, you can like sculpt the kick again with an EQ. So as you can see here, I have tamed a little bit the frequencies on the mid and the high frequencies because the most interesting add that this technique does is in the low frequencies. But then you can like, you know, put it the way you want. We used to use it more in the low frequencies than in the mid and high frequencies. So this is all for today. See you guys in the team number second.